guys, welcome back to In Case of Econ Struggles. Welcome to another micro struggle. It's going to be a really quick video on the envelope theorem, specifically Hotelier's Lemma, which is used for profit maximization. So, given that you have your profit function, the value function of your profit maximization problem, you can use the derivative of that profit function with respect to W and R, your input prices, to get your conditional factor demand, your K star and L star. So, let's go ahead and just walk through this really quickly. So you're at K star and L star, you have your parameters, your wage, your rental rate, and your price. You have a small marginal change in W or R. You can do D pi DW. You're going to get these indirect effects, which we're very familiar with, where you are changing the profit with respect to wage, but it's operating through the number of workers that you hire. That change we know is zero. Same thing for the change in profit due to the change in wage through or indirectly through the number of machines you have in your shop, which we know is also zero. The only change that really is going to be a direct effect is you are going to lose profit because you are going to have to pay everyone you've already hired a little more wage. How many people have you already hired? L star. So that is going to be the case, and that's how you can get L star out of this profit maximization problem using the envelope there. And similarly, you can see that we can do the same thing for d pi dr to get k star. This is an indirect effect here because I don't care how profit changes through labor through the rental rate, so that's zero. Same for capital. Again, the thinking here is that I'm not going to change the number of people I hire, the number of machines that I have just for a small change in wage or the rental rate when I'm already at the optimal, when I'm already at conditional factor demand. So the only direct effect that's going to affect me is just K star because it's going to be based on the fact that I have to pay for all my machines a little more. And so that change in my profit is just based on the total number of machines that I already have. And that's how I can back out K star using the envelope theorem. That's how I can back out L star using the envelope theorem from the profit maximization problem and from the value function of profit. So if this was helpful, make sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time for another case of Econ Struggles.